The Hanna salinity tester is an easy and accurate way to test the percentage of salt in your aquarium or when you have to mix up a fresh batch of seawater for those inevitable water changes. The dual graphite electrodes use conductivity to calibrate the salinity of the water and the built-in thermometer tells you the water temperature as well as automatically calibrating the salinity reading based on that temperature. The Hanna salinity tester comes with a plastic storage case, the marine salinity tester, a pre-installed battery four calibration packets, an instruction manual, and a quality certificate. To get your salinity tester up and running, here are two things you need to do. First, remove the battery cover, pop out the battery, and remove the safety strip. Then replace the battery and the battery cover. Secondly, you need to calibrate the tester, and here's how. Cut open the top of the calibration packet, power on the salinity tester, and then press CAL. Once the display reads 35 PPT use, insert the tester to the bottom of the packet. Tap the tester a couple times to dislodge any air bubbles. Once the calibration is complete, the display will read store, then return to measurement mode. The Hanna salinity tester has 100 hours of operating life with the pre-installed battery. That's an insane amount of time, and just to put it into perspective, if you were to test your salinity once a week for one minute, then the included battery will last you 115 years. The tester is 100% waterproof and it floats just in case you drop it into the tank. It's also super accurate, giving you precise readings up to 0.001 specific gravity. You can choose the readings to be displayed in either Fahrenheit or Celsius, as well as specific gravity, parts per thousand, or PSU. The change between those settings is easy and here's how. Power on the tester, then remove the battery cover. Use a paper clip to press the setup button. Press the cal button to select measurement unit. Press the power button, then the cal button to choose Fahrenheit or Celsius. Then press the power button again and use the cal button to choose the auto shutoff time of 8 minutes, 60 minutes, or never. Then press the power button one more time and you're done. Now that everything is set up and calibrated, here's how you use the tester. Merely remove the cap, power the unit on, and place the lower portion into whatever you're measuring. Tap the tester a couple times to dislodge any air bubbles. Once the hourglass stops blinking, the reading has stabilized and temperature adjusted, and it's done. Then rinse the tester with RODI water, pat it dry, and replace the cap. Hannah recommends that you calibrate once a month for the most accurate results. I've used this Hannah salinity checker here for the last two to three years and it still has 95% of its charge left. I do calibrate my tester every one to two months but between us every time I've done it it stayed calibrated. Every six months or so I check it against my BRS refractometer and once again it's never lost its calibration. If you still use a hydrometer or even an old refractometer click here to see if it's time for an upgrade and as always everybody thanks for watching happy reefing be well. We'll see you next time.